the challenge of who will be king is that which has caused the rebellion of Satan, it's caused the fall of mankind, and it's really at the core of all the problems we experience today. How can I say that? Well, take a look at this verse from Isaiah chapter 14. But you, Satan, you said in your heart, I will ascend to the heaven. Notice all the eyes here. I, me, myself, and I, the self-important one, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne. By the way, who sits on the throne? King. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend to the heights of the clouds and I will make myself like the most high. Satan is laboring under the delusion that somehow he can be equal with the Lord God of creation. And so Satan is desiring to exalt himself, just like you see in this Isaiah 14 passage. He is deluded to the point where he believes that he can usurp the, the authority of God. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. And in his anger, he rebukes them. And in his wrath, he terrifies them. And he shouts out, I have already set my king on Zion, my holy mountain. It's already as good as done. And so this rebellion spoken of in Psalm 2 is a futile rebellion against the king of Israel. So how is the king of Israel going to manifest himself? Throughout the earthly reign and rule of Messiah Jesus, he proclaims this kingship. He offers the kingship to the people of the kingdom. So Jesus is coming. Where is he was born? King of the Jews. He comes as the king. He presents himself to the, as the king. He presents himself as Messiah, the long-awaited king Messiah. In Luke chapter 4, he walks into the synagogue where he had been raised in Nazareth, reads the scroll of the prophet Isaiah, and announces, Today, this passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And so the king is, says to them, if you will not accept me now, I will go away. And you will not see me again, in the book of Matthew it says, until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. What is motivating the hostility? Ultimately, it is Satan. Because Satan understands that the return of Jesus is the beginning of the end of his kingdom. Right now, he's free to do his thing. But there's coming a time when Jesus is returning. When Jesus returns, by the way, Genesis 3, he comes down and the heel comes down on the head of Satan. And that's the end of Satan. So the last thing that Satan wants is for Jesus to return. What is the actual event that precipitates the return of Jesus? He told the Pharisees, I will not come again until you, the Jewish leadership, say, blessed are you who comes in the name of the Lord. So the high priest demanded, tell us, if you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. And Jesus told them, you have said it. He agrees, yes, I am the Messiah. And not only that, but I'm telling you that from now on, from this point forward, the next time you will see me, you will see me when as the Son of Man, seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. He says, the next time you will see me, it's not going to be as this lowly king, but it's going to be as Lord of the universe. Because I'm coming back in my return as Lord of all. 